It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's not. It's the fairy. Look at how fast that thing's going. Special 1111. Right here. Watching that fairy roll. There's the most beautiful skyline. Part of it anyway. Hello, my name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week, and sometimes in the middle of the day, like right now. And I'm making sure that I don't drop my phone. Melanie Demore. Did you see Lillian Pearl at the Met Gala? Check it out. Look closely if you have not checked it out. And here we are rolling, rolling, rolling to the skyline. And rolling, rolling, rolling to. And who's that? What? Surprise! <laughs> Doug in the house. We're looking at Manhattan across the way. Uh, at Morningside Cathedral, shrouded inside the extra tall, extra ugly building. What is that extra tall, extra ugly building? Well, it's actually by a very famous, talented architect, Robert A. M. Stern. Uh, it's an author that goes only in New York ships. That's the biggest boat that we're going to build in the development. Take advantage of it. Look, down there, you see my little old town in New York City? That's the ferry from Edgewater to New York. Let's walk down there. This is this really groovy coffee place. What, what are they called? Coffee place. It's called a coffee place. It's a cafe. I called it a coffee place. We're going to walk. Following Doug, the master the architect expert. Melanie says, hey, Doug. Okay. And here we are. We're looking at what is called Columbia Heights. It's the area around Columbia University. And the grass and the green and trees are all built over the Amtrak Railroad. How many of those buildings have I stayed in? At least, that's never, not sure what happened, but we're back. All right, Doug, what are we talking about? So we're looking at uh, Riverside Park, which was built uh, in the 30s as a WPA project over the open railroad trucks on the river. Those are the railroads that go from New York, Chicago, Canada, and all the way out to the west, the coast. Um, as you'll see back there, the forest of the Manhattan skyscrapers, uh, with the three super talls right up front, one, two, three. They go to 1,400 to 1,500 feet tall. And the one's in the sky, look at that, the clouds, yeah. touching the clouds. And they, they shake in the wind, they sway back and forth. People sit at their dining room tables and watch the wine in their glasses shift by. I've, I've experienced that. It's still a wonder. I mean, don't ever give up on New York. Uh, don't give up on Chicago or even San Francisco. But uh, New York always comes back. So does Oakland. And so does Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, Melanie, you just said how beautiful the sky looks. Imagine what it looks like in these glasses. <laughs> like, wow, it's so great. That's why I wear them. And where's that new island? Uh, you can't see it. It's on the other. This is the west side of Manhattan. It's on so it's, the uh, it's going to go on side. the other side. Yeah, it's probably hiding behind that cluster of buildings there. Um, what is this right here sticking out? That's there. an old abandoned pier that serviced the Hess Oil Company when it was in Edgewater. And the tankers would come in and tie up and they'd pump the oil out. Uh, there were a lot of, there was a lot of industry in uh, Edgewater. The Alcoa had a plant, the Ford Motor Company had a truck plant, uh, Hess Oil, Gulf 
Jeez, the jumps. Uh, here. Uh, there, Japan. All sorts of things. In fact, in the it is fabulous. Up to the was all over the coffee and tea shipped to the United States came into Edgewater and were stored in stone warehouses all through the town. Many of those are now turned into condominiums. Beautiful stone buildings that are now, they look like fire truck, fire places, Firehouse. firehouses. Look at the sun, look yeah, what it's doing. Really quite dramatic. So beautiful. Well, I was, is there another ferry heading this way? bunch of barges with sand on them. There are cement plants up the river, so they bring the cement, some of the sand and the gravel up to make concrete. And the Hudson River is very busy. It ships oil up, fuel oil from New York goes up the river, and then the fuel oil from Albany, which comes from Canada, Columbus, and it comes down the river in barges, and goes around Long Island up to the maritime waters. Canada has no pipeline from Alberta to the Maritime provinces. This is the pipeline. This is a busy river. Not right now, but it is a busy river. Sure is beautiful. And there's the G Dub right over there. Hey Lydia. I'm I'm moving gingerly as Doug told me a story about one day he was here taking a photograph. Actually came with my brand new iPhone. I had just picked up at the AT and T store on the other side of the parking lot, and I went to take a picture of the cathedral and dropped it onto the rocks below, where there is water right now. Unfortunately, unfortunately it was low tide, so I walked on the rocks, picked up my crack phone, and brought it back from the warranty. All right, kids, from the best. From the best view in the world. This is absolutely. That is wonderful. The view from the Whole Foods. Yeah, that is a nice piece. Go get it. Make art. Hey, Bill. Bill Winokur. Just, you know, hanging out. Living on the edge. Good night, Mrs. Calabash. Good night, sir. Thank you so much. That might be Mrs. Calabash right there. Stunning, stunning day. See you tonight. Love heart, everybody. Hey, 11, 11 with Jenna. Woohoo! 11, 11 with Jenna. I know, look at the sky. It's just magnificent. I'm usually here at 11, 11 a.m. and 11, 11 p.m., but sometimes when I'm with my groovy friends, I just have to break into song and go live. Hey, Catherine. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. 444. Matt, let's talk soon. I miss you guys. See you later. And we're right back where we started. Really hard. With Jenna in blue. 11 11 with Jenna. How are you? 11 11 with Jenna and that is so cool oh yeah more art in here in another room we're in another place oh yeah so let's enjoy the space oh yeah hi my name is Jenna this is 11 11 with Jenna I'm here seven days seven nights 14 times a week and I am sitting with who is this I don't even know who this is Big old snake. <laughs> I 
just found him just now. I sat down and I was like, what is that? It's a big old snake. Hello, big old snake. I decided we should just wear blue glasses and he'll be blue and I'll be blue and we'll just kind of hang out here. How are you, number one person who's here? What a fabulous evening we had. Went to dinner at Renato's in Jersey City. So good. Renato's with Doug and Lois and Kendall Messick. Hello, William D. And then we cruised back and, well, it's pouring rain outside. It is pouring rain. Pour wrap, wrap, wrap it up. I'll take it. Wrap it up. I'll take it. Mama Grace with a beautiful face. 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 Pouring rain. Judy Gain Brown. Judy Gain Brown. Downtown Judy Gain Brown. Yes, I am in. I'm on the edge. Living on the edge. And tomorrow, I think tomorrow going to try for the cloisters depending on the rain because tonight is blame it on the rain we had gelato it was so good talenti gelato and i bought some um siete mexican cookies so good the mexican wedding cookies kind of like a bizcochito almost not quite as not as good as a bizcochito what do you think what do you think? Oh, I don't know. So this is my community for the night, unless somebody wants to jump on and say hi. And if you don't, it's all right. It's all right. Tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, I will be somewhere. Somewhere. Hey, Mamie. What up, Mamie? Last year at this time, Mamie and I were hanging out in New Orleans. NOLA Jazz Fest. But instead of New Orleans, I'm in New York and New Jersey. Hello. I don't know if he has a name or not, but I'm in yet another lovely room with more art and more fun things. We watched Spanglish tonight with Tay Leone and Adam Sandler. Such a good movie. And Cloris Leachman. Such a good Cloris Leachman. They don't make movies like that anymore. Thank you, William D. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we had a lovely, lovely evening. And tomorrow night, I don't know, but Friday, Cinco de Mayo, lunar, that's a blood moon. Yeah. Yeah. First time, and besides COVID, first time in, I think it was 28 years that I'm not in New Orleans at this time of the year. It's, it's in my DNA, but I'm really happy where I am. I'm going to do some music tomorrow. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow, hopefully about some more music. And then Friday, Cinco de Mayo, and Saturday, get on a plane. Get on the bus, Gus. No, gu no bus for me. Well, tomorrow may be a bus into the city, but not to the airport. My friends, my chosen family, Doug and Lois, driving me to the airport. It's just like Mama Grace and Pa Ben would get up in the middle of the early, early morning and drive me to the airport. They're good people. And Doug loved Pa Ben, and they love Mama Grace with a beautiful face. Not so much beautiful face. Cute, though. Cute eyes. Maybe a little tired. And then I fly into San Francisco, I get on BART, I go to Berkeley, I get in the car with Sibylla, and then all this other stuff. I'm going to see, I'm going to see a friend of mine I haven't seen in two years. Cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. I've never thought I was a puppet person, but who knows? Maybe that's the next thing. If you have a chance, check out the special edition of 1111 at 444 today. Four, it, it was during the 444 time with Doug Corvus. And I need to get a, 
a microphone, an external microphone for this phone, because I'll tell you what, the 14, the microphone, not so good. It's really not so good. And I'm wondering if part of it is this little protector do thingy right here. I wonder, I bet you can hear me better just right now. That one little bit. Strange, it's, it's really not, it's a, it's a snake. I had one of these when I was a kid. Bought it at the parade, you know, big old snake. Have I ever told you the time that a bowl constrictor was lying across me in the middle of the night in a bed, a water bed, my friend John Scales? Strange, scary. Like I went, I think I'm going to die today by a bowl constrictor. Not so much fun. But I'm having fun, and I hope you're having fun, and I hope that you ate really good food tonight. I sure did. I had um, broccoli rabe and shrimp scampi. So good. No pasta, just broccoli rabe and shrimp scampi. So, so good. Okay, kids. Stay safe, stay healthy, be real nice, and come on back here once or twice. Come and hang out with me. Be my guest, be my guest, be my guest. See you in the morning. Love hard. You too. Good night. Here, let's just put you right here. <laughs> Good night. See you later.